these four bins just looked like they had good stuff in it. I chose one of the bins, one of the four bins. I looked through literally like every single piece. I'm almost to the end of the bin. I haven't found anything. And then there's just like, I find like one piece that's really good. And then I find another one. I took the entire pile and just put it in my cart. I was like, yeah, um, let me just have all of these. So welcome to my channel. Thank you for watching. I like to go up in like every week. It was $108 in total for 86 items to resell and a few stuff for myself. And I got a bag and some shoes. Actually, this goes at the back or I'm gonna show you. And I actually wanna put it at the side right now. So we're gonna be doing a Google thrift haul, a Google bins thrift haul. And I wanna show you guys what I thrifted to resell on eBay. So this is gonna be a really big one. And also it's a really, really, really good one. Like this is probably like the best thrift haul I probably ever had. And you guys know that I be getting the goods I think. I got a lot of like toured pieces and like just so much good stuff. So I'm gonna show you all of them and I'm gonna see just keep on watching with me. Okay, so the first item that I picked up, it was really actually one of like the first items that I picked up was a bag. You guys, I can't believe that I found this. Well, what was the name I said first? Oh, I don't remember. But regardless, I can't believe I found this. I think it goes for like a hundred and something. I can't even remember. But the first item I got is this Reese bag. Let me show you. It is a Reese. I think it's crazy because I think just the other day I was just like, um, how I haven't found any Reese items in a minute, I feel like. Um, because whenever I click into Vendu, like really relevant, whenever I click into Vendu, it always goes to this Reese sweater that I sold, um, like a long time ago. And I was just like, I haven't found any Reese in a minute. And then I found this bag and it was just literally in one of the bins with clothing and there was like a lot of good stuff in this clothes in that bin but this is definitely like the best it's like really good condition like brand new pretty much and it's pretty cute i like this like little style i've never seen that before it's pretty it's a pretty cute bag yeah so that was item number one we have like so much toward here guys like literally so much toward i'm gonna just run through them so let's just start first piece is actually zara so we're starting on like a small note compared to like what we have this haul had in general this is only half of the stuff that i'm showing you right here i still have an entire half that i need to photograph but i need the hangers so i photographed all of these and i need the hangers but i decided i was gonna do a thrift haul before i took them off the hangers so i had to picture them I measured them as soon as I'm done with this thrift haul I'm gonna take them all off the hangers and um I'm gonna take them off the hangers I'm gonna weigh them and I'm going to fold them and put them away and then I'm going to use the hangers and hang up the other half of stuff that I got on this um thrift haul I'm considering doing another thrift haul showing that half of stuff too because it's just like literally this is like the best haul that i ever got like i'm telling you right now my april sales are gonna be so bomb especially from the amount of toy that i found in this haul guys you don't even know like you while we go through this haul to count how many toy pieces i have because it's literally so many like Okay, so the first item is this Zara t-shirt. It's like this really pretty indigo blue. It kind of looks like bikini, but it's like definitely 100% cotton, I think, or almost 100%. Super cute. I really like this top. It's Zara Man. Okay, so I'm gonna put these in here. I should go over there. Yeah, maybe I'll put them over there. Okay, so here is our first torrid item. It's like this light knit open front cardigan and has like these wide sleeves and it has this loose knitting in the back here um we have like a lot of open front sweaters i don't know if torrid like 
like longer sweaters go for more but i always love picking up longer sweaters because usually they cost a little bit more but all of Tori's items for me i typically price them at 30 dollars so i'm pretty much gonna price everything here at 30 dollars um i might go through and see like particular pieces how much they cost but i'll show you that as we go along so this is the first Tori piece this open front cardigan Next up we have this dress. This is actually speaking of um, what I'm gonna show you as I go along because I'm gonna, I wanna check if their prices are any different is this dress because one, it's really, really cute. It's like a really cute like baby doll dress and also it's from Torrid Sleep. You can see that, Torrid Sleep. And I've never picked up from them before. And honestly, I think their sleep clothes is actually cuter than anything that I picked up for like a regular person. And also this is a size three and that was also a size three. I think someone just like dumped their entire torrid wardrobe at the bins on that day. And I was just like super lucky to be there. Like literally I went there so late. I thought that I wasn't gonna get that much stuff, but I left with 86 items, and I think that's the most I've ever gotten. So yeah, 86 really, really, really amazing items. Like you guys are gonna see why I'm like putting so much emphasis on it once we get through this haul because it's just like okay. So the next piece is Madewell. It is this like knit sweater. It has some pilling, but it's a Madewell size small knit sweater it's spring so i think people will buy sweaters still just to like wear on its own for, for like chilly spring days so next up we have another zara it's a zara dress pretty much everything here i'm gonna like price for like about 30 dollars because that's usually how much they go for around so i'm like on the market so zara um it's just like maxi gray t-shirt type dress and it has like the exposed seam here so i put that down for my um minister to put into the listing so because that's kind of like a popular thing going on right now like this exposed seam thing so yeah that's that next up i got this sweater it's probably like one of the least interesting things in this haul but I got it because it's um it was new tag so it's just this philosophy sweater it's like this red dolman sweater I actually just I just sold the dress for fifty dollars oh for fifty dollars um it was I don't know if I think I showed that dress in the haul one of my um like through calls um and it had like the same hem as this one here so. I don't know if that's like a thing. I was wondering if it was gonna like sell as quickly because it had like a weird hem. You couldn't even see it in the picture though, but yeah, it has this like same hem and it literally sold like two days ago. So yeah. Okay, so next up we have Aritzia Babaton. Um, I think that's like one of the faster selling brands for me, the Aritzia brand. So we have this like share blouse it's really cute it's like linen looking let me see Let's see uh oh no it's 100 viscose and this one's extra extra small and i don't know size of this but it was that the maple sweater was a uh, small okay so here's a new brand to me so we're getting some new brands in this gift haul as well if you're a reseller you're not just seeing what I'm getting, but also like something new that you can look for as well. So this is called Ofstein, I think it's pronounced. Um, I don't remember how much I saw it go for. I think I saw it go for somewhere between, I, I think 20 to 60. I could search it, but I really am not trying to edit this video. But I'm going to search it for you guys really, really quick. I'm really not trying to edit this video. So I'm trying to like upload it as if it was like alive but without the pressure of it being alive and like the awkwardness and like the timeliness also so yeah and the quality of all things the quality because that quality I, I just couldn't 
keep posting videos of that quality is really just like, no, really not. It's just not. But yeah, their um, pieces all have like this type of like abstract type of pattern on it. And I thought it was interesting, plus it being a jacket. And also the tag reminded me of Oscar de la Renta. So that's why I like looked at it. And yeah, and it has like a small little scanner here. But it's like really, really minor. You probably can get that out really easily. And um, so searching it up and uh, um, I'm still going to buy it now because I saw all my things to buy it now. I feel like that's useful, useful information because that was like useful information for me when I first started. That's probably like one of the first questions that I had when I first started was like, do you sell auction or do you sell um, right now? And I actually like asked this reseller girl on Instagram, one of the first people I started following in the reseller community on Instagram. And she was like, she just buy it now. So I was like, I'm gonna just buy it now. Especially cause I like would do auctions when I started to sell stuff on my closet and it would go for like $1, $2. And I'm like, nah, I'm not really trying to do that. And I don't know where to start. So it's just a little less complicated to do by now, I think. Um, okay, so we're gonna go pre-owned and let's look at the sold. Yeah, I did a whole video, a live video where I show you guys how I price or find prices for my items. Yeah, literally all their pieces are like this. I kind of want to show you guys, but I can't. So, yeah. Okay, so. We haven't, I see mixed results. Some are like 30 and some are like $11 here. Um, I'm going to put mine at 30 obviously, because why not? Um... So yeah, pre-owned, sold this thing. We got six results. I could have swore I saw. Maybe I wasn't looking at pre-owned. Let me see if I did. Okay, so yeah, I'll probably be putting this up for thirty. Um, probably like something a little above it well, they're all about the same cost but anyway next up we have a madewell t-shirt i always pick up madewell t-shirts um they sell for about i'd say about 15 dollars usually um anywhere from 10 to 15 dollars and i you know like i find them like really often so i just pick them up and people are always looking for them so they sell pretty well so i always pick them up um anything made well really um so this is Elvin. he found this cute striped navy blue striped shirt um i actually found like a lot of stripes on this trip trip to bins i picked up one Elvin, some other brand and I don't know that I picked up an Urban Outfitters one. And I usually don't pick up Urban Outfitters to sell. But I mean, like, you would get anywhere from, like, $15 to $30 sale on an Urban Outfitters item. So I thought it was cute and it was like that. And I was like, I would wear it. I can't even remember if I picked it up to wear for myself or to sell. But I decided I'm just going to sell it because I think it's, like, cute. And it's a real staple basic to have, like, a little striped t-shirt like so i got that and it looks literally exactly like this one if you guys note the zara dress you guys are gonna notice that like i have another piece that's a different brand a more expensive brand actually a really really good brand that looks identical so like you even have a you even have your like little dupes in here and stuff like so i thought that was like yeah. Dupes. Okay, so next up we have some more Madewell. This one's like this tan and this sweater. It has like some pilling on it, but it's obviously not like super duper noticeable from 
far. I didn't detail it because honestly, I was just being lazy. I wanted to get through them um, because it's a lot, honestly. And yeah, I feel like it's really easy pill to get off. And I'll probably, I want to say I'll try to pill it when someone orders it. Like, you know, try to get some of it off them, but I can't guarantee that I'll actually do that. And sometimes, like, anything can happen, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, made well. Next up, we have a dress, another Aritzia piece. This one's Wilfred Aritzia. I think this one does better than all of the other Aritzia. And it's just this suede trapeze dress i think it's called i had one of these that looked exactly like this but in brown and it was from forever 21 so you know here goes another kind of dupe like literally like and i mean honestly if you saw that dress in this dress i don't think you could really tell the difference from the front i think it has a keyhole back here i don't think mine had a keyhole back but i can't even remember oh yeah mine had a zip on the back so right here it was a zip instead but i mean otherwise it looks exactly like this so yeah, Wilfred Aritzia, and this one's a size small. I keep forgetting to tell you guys the sizes, and I want to tell you guys the sizes for a particular reason that I forgot, but I'll remember later, but I need to tell you guys the size. <laughs> so this one is another Madewell. I actually really like this piece. It's just this like sweater with pom-poms on it. I think this will be a good sale. I'll probably price this for like about $34. And this is a size medium, super cute. I really like this a lot. And also the thing is with a lot of the pieces in this haul is they don't have much defects. And if they do have defects, they're like really, really, really minor. So like that, in addition to the fact that I got this much stuff, the brands that I got, the fact that there's like minimal defects on all these items, like is just like, really really good so one of the items that i did find a defect on but it was literally just like like dirt like it was like dragged on the floor so i'm just gonna wash it the only thing about that is it's a tory item and it's new with tag and it's the only new with tag tory item i found and that's actually another item another thing i actually found some new with tag items i found an fritzia skirt that i think i'm gonna show you guys in a different haul whether for myself or I don't know i mean i wore it for some photos but i don't know i didn't take the tags off but i wore it for some photos so i don't know if i'm going to keep that for myself or if i'm going to sell it like i said i don't usually get new with tag stuff from the bins so this is like rare for me but um yeah in addition to all those other things i found like new with tag items and like good new tag items like aritzia and um i mean yeah, like Aritzia and Torrid, which sells really, really fast. If you're wondering why I'm so excited about Torrid, it's because it sells really, really fast and for about $30, and I think that's for about $30, and it sells really fast. I think that's really decent profit from, like, what I'm spending, and yeah, so. Madewell, really cute, and you guys will really like this one. Maybe this is my new thumbnail, I think. Maybe I'm trying to like think what to be my thumbnail, have as my thumbnail that'll go with my outfit. <sighs> okay. So, next item, another Ritzy piece. I don't know what from that pile already this is from this particular pile that I'm about to tell you about. So, I was in the um, bins and the tables had just turned. And you know you they have you wait before you like touch everything so we were standing by there and i was just like looking in this bin these four bins just looked like they had good stuff in it they just looked like sometimes you could just like tell you know if you just like take time and just observe everything you could just like see like that looks like it's worth something you know so they just turned the table and this is like the back and there's four bins and I chose the bin because they only have two persons at a bin right now because of coronavirus. So two persons. So I chose one of the bins, one of the four bins. So I'm looking through it, looking through it. I look through literally like every single piece in a bin. So I'm looking through it. I'm almost to the end of the bin. 
haven't found anything and then there's just like I find like one piece that's really good and then I find another one I'm like okay great so I know there's some good pieces in here so I'm like okay looking for more and then I spot there's like a pile of folded clothes in the corner of this bin like right at the end so I'm like yo I look I take one piece off the folded pile and I look at it and it's a good thing. I took the entire pile and just put it in my cart and just went back to thrifting. I was like, yeah, um, let me just have all of these and put them over there. Like it was like so much stuff. It even has some brands that I've never seen before that are coming up in this haul. One of them is actually the dress that I was talking about. Like literally like so much stuff. It's just so much stuff stuff like oh my god this is like a reseller's dream trip i'm gonna probably like pump some like chanel speaking of chanel you know what you guys actually just remembered a piece that i'm supposed to show you and we're gonna do that one last speaking of chanel just keep that in mind okay it's like a brand that's like equivalent to chanel so just keep that in mind this trip was definitely a reseller's dream like for real 86 items i got like so many toy pieces i don't want to tell you the number because i want you guys to like guess and count with me and um do a tag and then this one special brand that we got i actually got a few this brand because i also found these shoes that like everyone really likes and they're actually really nice and I searched that up and those shoes go from they have like a very different price range I think I saw some for 30 but I also saw some for like 100 200 and 300 in this particular brand of shoe so I'm not gonna show you guys in that in this haul maybe I'll show you guys in the next one if it happens but yeah so I got those two amazing like for real okay so this is one of the items in that haul I mean in that pile you can even see it like it's still folded like in the middle like so Aritzia that's like this army green like t-shirt and that's a size extra small and this is Madewell it also says white striped Madewell tee um size is medium really super cool okay so next we have some Everlane we did find some Everlane which is great um and this is just this 100% cashmere sweater so you know bomb i don't know how much this is gonna go for but yeah this is gonna be a super fast sale and i feel like this like v-neck sweater type style is very like school girlish and i feel like you know that's kind of like a thing right now so fantastic we love that okay so here we have more torrid from here i think we're just gonna have like so much torrid and then there's still like some more torrid over there that I'm not gonna show you guys that I have to picture later because honestly it's just enough stuff already so here we have some more torrid another long line sweater oh this is a there's another one that's like very similar to this but it has like loose knitting on the back and then I have another long line one that's black that's really cute oh gosh we gotta get to this and yeah so this one's kind of like gray long line towards sweater sweater size three like i said i think literally someone just like put their entire toy collection because they're all about the same size which made it like kind of easy for me to measure but i didn't realize like hey they're all the same size they're probably like the same measurement bust at least you know until i was like almost done i was like ah, wow i should have thought of that but anyway i mean it's fine some of them were different measurements so it's fine so this one's torrid also another size three we have like a three quarter sleeve green stripe t-shirt the v-neck um this is another nice one that i like so this one's another nice one i actually like this one a lot that first sleeve dress this dress and that black sweater are my favorite of all the torrid pieces that i found obviously i can't wear them because um it's a plus size brand but probably for my better um because yeah yeah like literally the sales that this is gonna cause give me in april amazing they sell so quickly so 
next item is another horrid sleep it's size one this one and it has like this lace upper part and this open back and it also has like these lace panels at the hem which is really pretty and it's kind of like this like grayish purplish color which is like really nice and i think that's like sleepwear but it looks really it looks cute out I, I thought it was like outside wear clothing but i mean why does it matter anyway but okay another torrid size three this isn't the black sweater i was talking about but this is like this like type of draped three quarter sleeve light knit long sweater from torrid also um torrid doesn't really have much like usually it doesn't have like incredible um materials like you know cashmere or wool and stuff so that's why i'm not really like, telling you guys the materials that you would because most of them probably aren't anything special anyway if not all of them so this is another torrid another size three long cardigan this one's a cute one too i like personally like um it has these two big pockets here really just like a basic really nice i really like that one and it's like kind of like marled black and white which gives it like a grayish looking type thing okay next up we have another brand i've never picked up this brand i feel like i've seen it but i've never picked it up and also the brand that's coming up after this which is the dress i was speaking of earlier it looks like the zara one so yeah this brand is called community we got a few of these pieces. I'm gonna show you guys, I think, all of them. But this one is just this like cardigan, this V neck cardigan, kind of fits in that schoolgirl vibe again. And it's pink, it's a size medium, and it's made of wool and yak, so that's great. Um, let me search up for this particular item because I think the price range for this brand is really good. Um, price range for this brand is really good. And this brand was also one that was I discovered in that pile of clothing that I was just talking about. Um, oh, it's from Aritzia. Let's see. Buy now. Okay, so three. Okay, I'm gonna put wool yak. Okay, so, so before I put wool yak in and like search that you know those tags i see or whatever um let me like look at tell you some of the prices i see now which is like sweater just like their sweaters so i see one for 59 that seems like it was marked down um probably like not for the sector type thing so it was 39 24 i see 49 here's 15 wouldn't be me but i mean 15, I mean, it could have a defect, I don't know, but 22, I see 31, 30, 34, 34, and they paid $24 shipping, so yeah, I don't know about that, but um, here's 29, M most of the shipping here that I'm seeing is like $10, so that one's a little high, probably for another country, I mean country, okay, so I see 29, 20, 43, 79, and then we have one for nine with thirty dollars shipping and yeah just stuff like that so let's put wool and yak in oh it's black nine okay so here's one the one that was 79 is here i see one for 28 and i see one for 38 so yeah I'm gonna put this sweater up for about probably like 38 40 dollars um so the next one is is this a dress it's literally identical to the zara one i think okay this one has like a scoop neck the zara was more like a higher neck but it's very similar it kind of has like this exposed seam type thing going on too and it's just this gray maxi dress and this is also a brand i never heard of even though I feel like I've seen it, but it's called Marine Layer. Um, 
honestly at first um at first I had seen this next to that pile and I was like oh no that's probably nothing but then you know after I put the pile down and I went back for it and I was like you know what it was there let me search it just in case and I searched it and it was just it was it was good it was a good price range so look, I'm gonna search it up for you guys really quick too new layer dress maxi dress I don't know why I don't just use the my research tool on eBay to like go through the pictures but I always forget I forgot that I had it for like the longest time until recently when I just started using it and like I still forget from time to time okay so I see 22 and I see one for great that's not even the same brand but they first one I see is $16.95 but thankfully most of the other items around it cost way more than that I mean sold for way more than that so this one sold for $35 here's one for $69.99 but they said it's new so mine's is obviously not new this one went for $67 it does the same as new I see one for $34 $35 $29 $39 55 that one's being attacked it says um here i see 22 28 39 49 so you hear the price ranges i mean i personally will probably do like 34 or 39 ish dollars for like just a basic dress and um, I think. Don't quote me because I do see some that are like a higher. Could be like at my price of like forty, because I see some for like sixty, and they're not like all that special either. So there's this like really plain striped dress, like this really plain long sleeve striped dress here, and it's sold for fifty dollars. So, I mean, I might not lowball myself. I might just go for a 40, 45 and see what the people offer. So yeah, and there's sales every day. So next up, really good item. I'm going to take some pictures of this, I think. I have like some gray leggings. I'm just going to take some in there for my Instagram um but next up is reformation I have rarely ever gotten a reformation piece if ever that hasn't had a defect on it so this is the first time this has ever happened to me you know speaking of the lack of defect in this haul defects in this haul so this was a reformation knit sweater I mean I guess it makes sense considering apparently most of it came from two two different people so thank you two people for blessing my April and so forth thank you and thank God I would just like to thank God and my family <laughs> but yeah super cute cropped gray and white striped sweater for reformation it doesn't have a size which sucks oh yes it does I'm lying it says the size on this tag because I was saying that earlier and it says the size on that tag and it's a hundred percent it's seventy percent recycled cashmere and thirty percent cashmere so yeah real cute real cute I like that one I probably should have saved that for like the other haul that I was gonna do anyway okay so this one's cute also, actually. This isn't the black sweater I was talking about, but this one's really, really cute also. Um, man, I don't feel like trying. Okay, 
this one's real cute. It is a torrid size three. It's just this black cardigan. It has this drawstring waist. Again, another long one. Hopefully the long ones cost more because I got a lot of long ones. Like if it was any other brand, gosh, not right now, I mean. <laughs> so this is torrid. Um, again, super quick sale. And also it has like a hoodie. So a lot of fabric going on here. It hopefully costs more than like the other stuff. And that one's really cute, so it's definitely going to go fast. Um, I have so much to show. Like, it's kind of crazy. If you're watching this far, I forgot to say you should, like, give my channel a thumbs up and subscribe. Because it means a lot to me when you keep giving videos. Even though I'm in a committed way, but... Okay. So... Everything's like all tangled. Another torrid. From here on, I know I said that earlier, but like from here on now, it's gonna be like a lot of torrid. This should literally be like a torrid haul. But torrid dress, lace. Um, it's kind of like for dressing it up. It has like these cap sleeves and a scoop neck, and it has this open back in the back. Also size 3, even though it looks bigger than the other size 3s here, but I might just be tripping. So, yeah, it's this like lace dress, super simple. Who doesn't need a black lace dress? I mean, okay. It's another torrid item. This one has this like cross up back, um, and then this lace upper part here. It's like a short sleeve blouse um and this one is also a size three okay another torrid also with like similar back this one is um a little semi share i think i didn't put that down but i need to this is a little semi share scoop neck with, like the what type of sleeves is this can someone tell me um but yeah like that and it's kind of like high low at the bottom yeah it's high low love that and then we have some shorts i actually got two of these shorts two shorts just similar to this um this one is a size 20 i think the other one was a size 22 that one i put it to be washed because it's like look like it needs to be washed in this area it's like yellow like maybe old or dirty i don't know but i need it to be washed Okay, this one's a really nice sweater because it's really thick. Um, also, Tori, this one's a size two. And it's just this really long, thick cardigan. You would think it was wool, but it's not. Um, so yeah, another open front cardigan. Really, really nice and warm. One. Oof, my, my arm another torrid piece this is also another semi share one with the same similar types like ruffle tape sleeves for this v neck mandarin like neckline it's a really cute blouse actually need one two three no i think we need to take a break but i need food okay we have 10 minutes um, what should i have to do okay i don't really know huh I think it's gonna be like 10 minutes to order. Okay, I have so much stuff. We're gonna go through the last couple items pretty fast and then I'm gonna turn off my camera and I'm gonna come back and show you the very last items that I was talking about that I said kind of compares to Chanel, the brand. The brand compares to Chanel. No one can be better, better than Chanel. What brand is better than Chanel? I don't know. I mean, guess. So next up, we have another one of those marine layer items this is a pink button down top with stripes i think this is for men's maybe i don't know you could tell from what side the buttons are on but i can't remember from the top of my head right now it's probably 100 percent cotton it might be linen let's see oh yeah it's hemp and lyocell 
So next up, another long sweater. This is the one I was talking about that I thought was really cute. It has like this loose distress knitting at the bottom here in the back. And again, another opal front knit cardigan. This person with the really like these long knit cardigans because open front cardigans because it's like all what's in the tall. Here comes another one. Um, this one's also really cute. It's like this multicolored like pink one, open front, long again. This one's a size three, and so is the other one. Here we have another one of those brands, um, Marine Layer. So, just some pull-on like pants. Um, next up, we have some more pants. Another pair of pull-on pants. But this one is from Everlane and it is a size four. Okay, so last, well, last three items. I'm gonna go get the last one. Last, last one. So next up, we have a Torrid sweater. Again, size three. Just this plain black one with the V neck. We got the schoolgirl vibes for our plus size girl. This looks really much, very much like the um, Everlane one that I just showed you guys. So, yeah. Schoolgirl vibes for the plus size girls. The ghouls. Okay. And then lastly, finishing it off with oh i keep forgetting i have a taurus one that looks exactly like this i think i showed this you already um this one though is not taurus it's community another community i found a long knit sweater it's like type of mauled black and white again but this one the black is more like emphasized but yeah that's that um Okay, okay guys, so I got the last piece and this is it. I know it's just a tag, but before you click off this video, be like, what are you talking about? Guess the brand this is, guys. I told you it's like in the range of Chanel. This is the, probably, this is definitely the best brand in terms of like luxury that I've ever found. It's a tie, which is really small, but I'm still grateful. So, can you guess? I am going to assume that it's real. It's 100% um, silk, and it is, I don't know if you saw it, Hermes, a Hermes tie. I have no idea how much this costs, um, it's going to sell for but i mean i feel like that's their stuff goes for a lot of money so i'm just gonna assume that it will go for a really good price for a tie at the very least good price for a tie so yeah that's my entire goodwill bang and stiff haul guys i hope you enjoyed it i hope you guys i'll see you next week and be sure to give this video a thumbs up subscribe share it with your reseller friends or all your friends you're like trying to thrift with and let's like share our opinions and thoughts in the comments and um, tell me your favorite item like let me know what it is i always want to know um and i'll leave my shop link in the bio and everything else in the bio so thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video guys i'm sure right because this was fun it really is a lot less pressure pressure than like being alive myself more a little bit kind of um so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you in my next video guys i'll see you in my next video guys i'm gonna go get food and eat and feel good and i get my tooth my wisdom tooth taken out tomorrow <sighs> should i vlog that i don't know um we'll see and i'll see you tomorrow i mean next week <laughs> see you next week guys